Yeah, hello, Anis. Setting up for a hot second. Hold on. I will be back on my suit, okay? Enjoy music for now. Hi. I hope this is loud. <laughs> it's been like freaking probably four months. Around that time, around that amount of time, I think since I last used this uh this mic, just been with my friends for the whole time, and he just returned it to me. So I thought I'd stream today. Hello, hello, welcome back to stream. Hello, Anais. 
Hello, Twig. I, I think I should start calling you Twig for real. Hi, uh, hello everyone else in chat. Uh, it really has been a while. Uh, I have definitely not had a few breakdowns between in between the time. I have. I'm definitely still the same person. Nothing else has changed ever. Everything is forever static. Uh, the name is Baku. If you're here for the first time, uh, hi. I honestly don't even know if I still remember all of my like housekeeping shit. But like, yeah, basically, just you know, we're here to draw. Uh, that's most of the things that I do on the on on the Twitch channel, and most of the things that I do in general, really. Uh, we're here to draw. I have a piece that I want to draw. Uh, I have like a fucking laundry list of things I want to get back to on stream too. But oh, that's uh, you know, take we're taking one thing at a time right now. Uh, today's uh thing is <laughs> the thing that we are going to do on stream today is like a a mid autumn piece because uh it is the later half of. Uh, lunar uh, July right now, I think, if I remember correctly, it might be even like very close to the beginning of Lunar August, uh, and uh, every every year whenever it hits mid autumn, uh, which is uh, Lunar August fifteen, I get like a wave of incomprehensible emotions about it. I'm like, holy fuck, that's like three-fourths of the year through already, and then I need to like occupy myself somehow. Uh, and that is the story of mid-autumn to me. Uh, but yeah, every year I try to do something for the occasion. Uh, a few years ago, when I was uh, I was drawing like comics and shit, but this year I'm like taking a little bit slow because uh, I'm old. I'm getting old, <laughs> and I'm I'm. I, I don't got that much spoon in me, so I gotta span it uh, carefully, so that's why I'm drawing Miku now. Uh, but like, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the mood of this, I guess. Hey, hi, Zeke! Hello! I don't remember what time it is for you over there. Probably somewhere... Wait, you're like six... Probably like six hours after me, right? So, like late afternoon? Oh, it's like mid afternoon, yeah. Thing. Just the, the six hour, like, separation is the funniest. Because you all, everything always hit where, like, when one of us uh, have the free time, the other would not. Because, <laughs> like, when we, we have the free time, the other would be, like, eating or sleeping or something like that. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, Anise. I, I hope that goes well. I hope that goes well. It's funny enough, my brother is about to finish his uh, unique course. And he might go to Europe to, like, do his master. Uh, and we are kind of flip-flopping on where that's gonna land. But like, we, we're just kind of been clinging on to our own advantage, which is, uh, we are one of the like, 10 people who still speak French in the, in the city right now, I think. So like, uh, we're just kind of coasting on that, but also like, that boy doesn't like French as much as English. So uh, that's the situation, but yeah, probably next year sometimes. The guy's gonna be around the sh the Schengen like space too. Uh, but like yeah, just the the European vibe. <laughs> it's hurting me again. I it's been like fucking three years since I got back. Now I think that's a while now, huh? Wow, I, I need to stop. I need to stop like sighing and shit before it gets like real fucking like disgustingly like nostalgic in here. Uh, 
fucking housekeeping shit. Hi, the name's Baku. I use say or he pronouns. I draw. And we will be drawing. Uh, other than the... Other than that, uh, my friends might jump in to com commentate if they want to. Otherwise, it's fine. It's just gonna be me chilling. Uh, I am currently just out of a big project. Uh, that started like last year and stretched uh to like June this year. Uh, so now I'm like somewhat in a sense between job. Uh, so. Uh, donation would be appreciated, but not absolutely not uh, mandatory or like necessary to enjoy the stream. It's just hanging out with me, chilling while I like get stuff done is like already very very fun for me. Uh, so don't worry too much about that. But if you wanna toss me a coin, if you have one to spare or something like that, you can scroll down or switch over your own mobile to the uh, donation. Uh, panel and you can click on that or you can uh uh look at the link uh the, the Kofi link uh on screen you go to that and both of those things work that's fine i still haven't hashed out my fucking tax shit by the way <laughs> this sound it makes me sound extremely like a fraud it's not even like technically incorrect uh it's just like the tax shit here is kind of fucked up for people who like or uh, stuff online and from like single benefit uh, benefactor overseas so like i'm gonna have to hash that shit out with like a bunch of uh people in suit who will be very cold and scary to me and i'm going to do it but uh, it's just, you know, <laughs> I don't want to have to face that very soon. Uh, but yeah, if that, if that comes to pass, I will probably hopefully get to fucking pull up all of the old, uh, fucking affiliate shit that got rented to me, like, years ago by this point, and I can start having, like, subscribers and whatever. It's just to be fun, so I can have, like, emotes. That's, that's still one of the laundry list of bullshit I need to get done for the stream anyway uh but like yeah otherwise uh have fun with yourself hang out uh feel free to ask me questions i guess it's fine i'm i'm just drawing if you see something that uh you want me to elaborate on in while i'm drawing i'm totally cool to do that uh it's just be warned that uh I'm not a teacher or an educator or a specialist in anything, so the my way of uh conveying information might not be suitable for general human consumption. So like if you can glean anything from what I do, that's awesome. I love you. Uh otherwise it's fine. We're just chilling. Uh all of the old comments are live. Uh, except for like the match handle grant specific one, that's also one of the things I need to get back to. <laughs> Fuck, where are the... I just so so many things on the list, but like yeah, just uh the we still have the hydrate comment, we still have the desus comment, uh we the soup comment still live for some fucking reason, the stretch comment still there, uh I did uh check I did like fix up the uh. A setup comment so so like if you want to know what tablet i use or like what the brushes i use are, are and stuff like that uh you can type exclamation point tablet or exclamation point setup in chat and that will show up uh and i think that's it that's also the safe comment just for people who are also drawing hey if you're if you're also drawing we should probably have the two hour rule again where like every two hour so somebody had to remind all of us to stand up and go stretch and shit but i do have like a cup of dubious leaf water next to me so like that's that's the hydration part like take taken care of so that's at least that's good oh hey any uh Stretching time is gonna be good. We cannot be shrimping up over here like for like four hours or 
like for hours of time at a time that's not gonna be good for us and also hell yeah to water god i was just talking to my mom just earlier about like the, the weird leaf water because like i'm like i don't like the taste of water and like that's that that itself has fucking backstory because uh i went to france for two years i lived in france for two years and it ruined the taste of water in vietnam to me because like uh tap water in france isn't at least in lille i don't know about in the south but at least in lille uh tap water isn't like filtered or like at least like uh bleach with chloride or something like that like in vietnam so like it just tastes nice it just tastes like normal water. It doesn't have like the weird like metallic taste. So like I, I was drinking that for like two years and I got home. I'm like, hmm, shit tastes weird. <laughs> and I can't fucking drink tap water anymore. I mean, I can't. I'm just not, I'm, I'm just not going to like it. So now I've just turned towards tea. And now I'm, I'm going to grow up to become like one of those weird Asian people who drink, who replace their entire like, uh water intake with tea and eventually i will probably like triple steep my tea like my parents do and it's just gonna like curdle your whole body into like one single like glob of thing but that's not happening yet so oh yeah and yeah i think like it has some geological like uh dependence too uh, I don't know exactly how the tap water near like Ube and Lin works. Probably not the best in France because it's like a metropolis. It's still like a big city, so like that uh, needs some uh like filtering still, but it still tastes a lot better than the tap water here. Honestly, I think like. Going back and uh, going to like more rural areas in Vietnam, the, the like the tap water and like well water tastes normal too. It's just that I live in Hanoi and everything in Hanoi has to be like triple bleach before consumption, otherwise, you get like mutated or something. Anyways, <laughs> hey, let's uh, let's let's draw, let's draw, let's let's start on this. I would like to stream not too much today because tomorrow. We have a big thing with guests and stuff, and I gotta do prep for that, so I would like to be lucid for it. But honestly, I'm just gonna draw until I, I'm just gonna ink this until it is done inking, uh, and anything else can come after. All right, let's let's go over to to Sai with us. Hi, hi. This is the piece that we're doing. Oh, I'm gonna have to... Oh, I really hope this doesn't... Okay. It's not too loud. Oh, thank you. Uh, you should... Let me know if, like, uh... The music is too loud or I'm, I'm, I get quiet again or something, okay? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Honestly, I'm just glad that I can still line okay without like the screen tablet because like even only after using it for like three months, my habits have changed enough that I am a little bit afraid of like going back to uh, the, a, a graphic tablet and not being able to work with it the same way. Uh, but like it's it's been okay. It's been normal. <laughs> I'm just, I, I think it's just because I, my hand-eye coordination has degraded a little bit. I have to be more careful with, uh, just like, you know, uh, just, uh, fuck, fucking, what, what was I getting to? Uh, I have to be careful with, uh, like my long line where, yeah, drawing, drawing long curves have become a little bit harder again. <laughs> Just basically that. But I, I can take care of it by like zooming out. <laughs> so that's it, yeah. Uh, but like, yeah, this is a mid-autumn piece. Um, uh, If you guys have not seen this design yet, oh wow, I still have every single file down here. I have not turned a single thing off. 
this is uh, um, a fan made miku module that i made like last year i think mid last year uh i wanted to draw her for like luna new year too but oh boy that was like my i was first of all in the middle of a job and also fucked up on my family reunion shit so uh that did not happen so now i'm drawing her for uh, mid autumn uh, but like yeah, this is the piece that happened for her when I like did the design and then like basically tried tried to mock uh create a Miku module from the ground up. So there will be like a main visual and then a bunch of like uh designs uh design sketch and stuff like that, just with the idea of like uh in a like fucking delusional world where uh, I draw this and then somebody like fucking goose smile or something is making a uh figure for her <laughs> so like they were your main visual where that, that they would sculpt into a figure and then like all oh, the design sketches are for like details around a figure not the main visual didn't show shit like that uh like yeah the this is the same design it's just like from the back uh the instrument though the instrument where's the here this is the main sketch for the instrument and like honestly i'm still like very proud of this one because like uh i wanna uh i think i should there should be some mm, i need to pull up like a picture of the actual instrument because this one is like extremely stylized already because like the normal instrument looks very dignified <laughs> uh okay i'm gonna pull that up because like it's a i think I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a like top to bottom like from the core out uh king vietnamese instrument or a king instrument because like there is a uh population of uh ethnic king people in uh china and they have the same instrument uh Hell yeah, thank you, Zeke. I'm, also, I'm genuinely very proud of it. But like, okay, okay, I need to get... Uh, honestly, I think like, most of you guys who have been looking at my shit for a while, you guys know this already, but... Uh, I'm fucking not letting go of an opportunity to <laughs> explode this shit my way through this. I'm gonna just paste it directly on here. Uh, yeah, this is how it actually looks. <laughs> like, in real life, uh, the, the, the normal version. Uh, this is, yeah, this is like a, uh, an electric uh, version too. So, uh, it has like a plug in there for the output. But like, uh, I'm, I'm very proud to be able to tell you that like all of the main, uh, like uh elements and stuff are all in here so like if you build this one in in real life theoretically it would work it would play the same except for like all of the holo holo shit that's like made up but if you just string it normally it should work uh but like yeah that bow is usually a solo instrument and it's very gentle in general it's 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 kind of like a, a very it's it's you know it has one single string so it's not that loud of a thing and I, I just like the idea of making that thing into like something weapon grade <laughs> like yeah so uh this is the main uh design for the thing back in when i first made the, the module honestly the module even had like a little bit more history to it where i did draw a lunar new year piece but the, the danbo in that one actually just sucks so bad <laughs> like there was no thought in that thing that i got like mad and i had to fix it hell yeah god artifice of art is such a like miku uh fucking class that that would be what miku be in like 
what what we could be in a D and D setting and think. Do I still have that piece around? I'm gonna pull it up. I mm, I don't think so. It might be in the old setup, but like yeah, it's uh, I can actually go hunt it down for you. I think it's still on Tumblr somewhere. Just gonna go in archive, and I'm I'm gonna be able to pull it up. It's just I I bear all of the embers <laughs> in the making that thing and then being like this is bad <laughs> this is genuinely just like such a fucking wishy-washy design for that instrument that i had to sit down and like overhaul the entire thing and then like i finally got to that first uh properly concrete design and i was like okay okay i could actually do it it just takes a little bit of brain uh, if it's like probably in this February of that year, or because like it's Lunar New Year, so it's usually February. No, this is still in my fucking uh Pokemon era. Oh, I remember. Okay, yeah, February of twenty twenty one. I was drawing for the hop comic. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I can have like a fucking. Uh, a calendar, a calendar of like my life based on the fucking Pokemon Sword and Shield bullshit that I draw at that time for like the last four years. But like, yeah, this is a piece where I started designing that module in it. So uh, you can kind of see like, yeah, it's it's supposed to be Danbo, but. Just like, what is this? <laughs> thank you, thank you, Anais. You're very kind to me. Uh, there's just not a lot in here. I'm not gonna. I've gotta be real with you. Like the the bridge motive, the fucking like. What what are you going for here? What what, what is this? And then like I got to this one. I'm like, okay, this is a real thing. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is uh, the base uh, of a freaking uh, stylization of a uh, Danbo that I've got, I've gone to, and now in this piece I've gone finally back to where I really wanted to go at first with this instrument, which is to make it into like the head of a dragon. <laughs> Like, now that I understand how to uh, work with the shape of it to make it look like, you know, in the spirit of what uh, Miku usually works with. Where it's like, you know, a lot more bombastic and fun and like bigger shapes uh, with like more distinct like shape language in general. Instead of uh, fucking, wait, this is uh, the module design where it's the design here. Yeah. Instead of just like a, a hunk of wood here, where like just can't really tell what's going on. <laughs> yeah, you know? I I may be able to like redraw this in the future with like a better than bow design, so uh, I will stop feeling embarrassment about it. But like yeah, this I've I've fully paired this module, this fan module that I made for Miku with this specific instrument, and. I will probably be like tinkering at it for a longer time in the future. I'll just keep like iterating on it. But the shape, the main shape, the basic shape of it will be this thing that which like I've made up and I'm very proud of still. But like yeah, that's that's what we're drawing today. Miku is mostly done. I'm just gonna be working on the instrument. I need to fucking remember to add like the, the gills and shit in the middle here before I forget. Uh, I will forget. Somebody has to remind me. <laughs> Ooh, it's, it's almost mid-autumn. Every time I think about that, I got like... The GBs. Where should I freaking start with this thing? I mean, from, probably from the head, right? You know what? Correct! Anis, you're so correct. I need to... Uh. 
what what was that that I was just writing? Did I forget how to draw write? There you go. All the exposition done beforehand and now I'm gonna be like fucking quiet as a freaking mouse when I draw. Got my, my fucking adventure of getting this tablet to Yeah, I'm currently on a graphic tablet instead of uh, a screen tablet uh, because uh, and this might come as a surprise to you but turns out the screen tablets are kind of bad for your wrists <laughs> if you're like me and already exhibiting like symptoms of disorders and shit it's just because like the stylus, especially, very specifically Wacom stylus, they are really heavy. I think it might be because Wacom stylus uh, has like the eraser end, and that's like, or like they, they aren't exactly the same way of like exhibiting, uh, not exhibiting fucking, uh, what's the fucking word there, like recording pressure. Uh, like their their mechanism for pressure sensitivity isn't the same as like other uh, tablets, uh, and it a lot of it is in the stylus. So like the stylus just very heavy compared to like a Huion stylus, which I got used to working uh, with like the old graphic tablet, which is still usable honestly. And once again, it's just. I've, I've been a very terrible owner and I kept putting fucking hot food, like hot bowls on top of it. <laughs> and then like that chipped the pain to the point that like whenever I draw a long line, get like snacked. I can't work with that. So I had to change it. I have to like fix up. But, uh, but like, yeah, so, uh, I got, I, I got that, uh, got loaned basically. I borrowed that old graphic tablet that uh that my senpai bought and haven't been able to use since like 2015 or something because like he got a job at like a media thing and he doesn't get draw a lot anymore so like at that time i was like uh yeah i'm i'm, I'm i just got into a job i uh kind of want to upgrade my tablet uh because like the old one is like hampering my workflow a little bit and he's like, uh, yeah, you can you can borrow this one because I'm not using it. I I feel kind of bad for it just like lying around there. So I picked that one up, and then like I work, uh, I I did the job for CRPG cards on that thing. Uh, and actually, I I drew uh, the uh, <laughs> the cutscene piece for uh, for Metanoia Blues last last arc on that thing too and like I'm, I'm still like I feel some kind of way about it because uh I think genuinely on uh that tablet was like the first device I learned how to draw to digitally paint on as in like I didn't feel competent enough to uh paint digital, uh, digitally on like a graphic tablet before so like when got I got a screen tablet and like the input film feels more like immediate it kind of finally clicks for my brain and like I, I do still feel like I owe the tablet that for some reason like it's a thing man <laughs> like I understand it but also at the same time it's just a thing man and then it like actively hurt my wrist uh, but like yeah yeah, you can see that I, I have like more troubles with longer curves now. Cause I the the input isn't as immediate as like with the uh the, the screen tablet. But I'm gonna get used to it. Yeah, my son is very, very kind. He's a great dude. Man, I need to go hang out with him again. 
been a while. It's like, it's, it's a season, so you've been driving away to a bunch of like shootings in remote locations and stuff. Like, yeah, so, uh, that was why I got that tablet and got to work with it. And then, like, the job concluded, I sat down and I was like, Ooh, wait, I probably need a break. And then I stopped and I was like, Huh, what's that thing, like, fucking with my wrist? And it turns out it really has been fucking with my wrist for a bit. And, uh... I my solution for that is like why why don't we try doing something funny with like the traditional ink for a while to like remind ourselves and then like that was when I got into my fucking my uh Japan inking era uh basically as yeah, like a break and also like to save up money for this tablet that I'm uh I, I'm using right now and then like, uh, I wanted, actually like when I tried to get the tablet I wanted, it wasn't there. Cause like I wanted a tablet with like, shortcut, uh, with basically a shortcut keyboard like, taped next to it already. But like, it, that model wasn't in store at the moment and I do need a tablet so I just kind of settled for this one. Uh, and this one is actually like pretty good. As far as like kinetic feeling feels, cause uh, it does have like the the thing the thing with a lot of tablets now, which is like the the surface feels kind of like paper. So uh, the feedback feels like the feedback like feels more real, I guess. Doesn't have like the slick kind of uh flow of like it's just plastic. It's just normal sheer plastic uh objects. Uh, but uh, the all of the shortcut buttons and stuff are touch buttons, not exactly so, not even pun buttons, just like touch points. And I hate that shit. I tried to use it for the first like few days, and I realized that I cannot know where I'm touching when I'm drawing because like my eyes are on a screen. It's not like with the screen tablet where like my eyes are on the same surface that I'm drawing on. Like my eyes are on a screen. So I can't be looking at where I'm like putting my hands and like drawing with my hands away from the screen like I'm used to but my left hand is not my dominant hand and it is honestly kind of a stupid hand where like the where it is and where my brain thinks it is aren't always the same place. So I was misclicking like up the fucking wazoo and when all of your uh, shortcuts are mapped to like undo and shit like that, you don't want that. <laughs> so... Oh hell yeah. It's, it's, it's news time. Thank you Zeke for stopping by. Hope you have a good time snoozing. Have a great nap. So like yeah, I... In, in, in the end, I had to turn off all of the shortcut buttons because they were not working for me and I just kind of uh, programmed the actual buttons on uh, the stylus and that that is also one of the like gripes that I have with this tablet where like it doesn't feel consistent like there is a level of proximity to the surface where it will finally register that I'm clicking the button and I still haven't figured out exactly where that is yet so like, I'll just be fucking spamming this button until like it finally works basically Like, yeah, that's, that's the one thing that uh, I somewhat miss 
about a Wacom tablet, which is the uh, eraser end. And I can basically fake it with uh, a Huion stylus by mapping uh, this, this thing, switch the transparency to one of the uh, stylus buttons. And I'll be having the same thing really. I don't even have to like twirl the, the heavy ass stylus around. Anyways, this is not a safe space for Wacom <laughs> tablets or users. I, I have gripes with that thing. It's just somewhat fucks me up still that I really like stopped using the graphic tablet and immediately my wrist stopped hurting. <laughs> Like, it's that immediate. Honestly, that might not even be like specifically a Wacom thing really, it might just be a graphic tablet thing. So like due to working with a graphic tablet, I'm now too used to like drawing on like a diagonal slightly raised surface whereas it's drawing perfectly flat on my uh, table like I used to. So now I have to like <laughs> just kind of share this uh, tablet, this is a uh, laptop stand between my laptop and my tablet it's just just kind of hang it hang it off the edge here i'm the same person i'm the same person as ever nothing has ever changed i need to drink leaf water it really is leaf water it's not even tea I mean, technically, I think in English, when you refer to tea, you just leave water in general, right? That's why you guys have like the the uh, concept of tea broth. When here, that's just broth. Uh, well, I guess this just like basically take just straight up like dried lotus leaf that got steeped in hot water. I don't know. Actually, I'm not super sure how they process this thing. Maybe they did like some extra thing to make it not fucking... Make it not taste like the inside of a tree. Uh, well, like, yeah. <laughs> Me and Anna using chat right now, like both like not native English speakers at all. <laughs> Like, yeah, it's just lotus leaf, dried lotus leaf. Technically, a kind of tea, I guess, with it. it, it I don't think it has any uh, caffeine in it. So it's really just water to me. Uh, and it tastes less bad than uh, tap water. So that's what I'm uh, drinking it for, really. So I can cut down on like my intake of... Mm -hmm. Worst things in water. And like my mom was like, oh this thing is gonna like uh it has like fucking antioxidant or whatever the fuck. It's got this or that. And I'm like, nah, sleep water, it's just gonna make you pee more. <laughs> That's only water as ever does. Actually, I think that's like oh, any solvent in in not not solvent. That's the other thing, like any a additive to water makes you do so. It's a flavoring, really. <laughs> yeah, just got a vibe at each other. It's fine. This is also not an English speaker safe space. <laughs>
the strength slabs. If you're curious about the music we're listening to right now, it is in fact the Slayer X uh, terminal uh, terminal aftermath vengeance of Slayer. Yeah, not vengeance, vengeance of Slayer, uh, which is it's just the soundtrack of that game, which is a first-person shooter, Muma shooter, basically spin-off of Hypno Space Outlaw. <laughs> And don't let me laughing, laughing and shit like that. Like turn you off. That game fucking slapped. The music also fucking slapped. Hell yeah. Miku is good. Join me and join Miku. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like a lot of people will be in the mood for drawing Miku like now and in the recent future because uh, the Pokemon collab is still happening uh, at least to my recollection. It hasn't ended yet, so uh, there will be a few more Mikus out or at least one more. And all of them have been like fucking bangers so far. I'm very very happy and given like the fact that they uh they have they those designs come with like a design sheet i'm <laughs> i'm waiting for something maybe maybe a music uh yeah maybe a music video that would be very cool uh, yeah i was ringing up the idea of maybe a uh like anime uh, uh, appearance with my friend Firefly, Firefly in our DM yesterday is, uh, or um, around that time and she was like I, I was thinking about maybe like a music video actually and I'm like you're so right you're so fucking correct about that like a fucking bum of chicken uh, feed me uh, music video with all those designs or maybe a few <laughs> isn't it whatever they're gonna give me i'm gonna eat it up that's basically the thing hell yeah i'm so glad my brand is that now unimaginable horror and miku sometimes both honestly i'm <laughs> it's just <laughs> I'm thinking a little bit about it. I think it's kind of funny and Mim has like fully outed me as like a Star Wars uh, peruser. I don't even want to call myself a fan because the contempt I hold for George Lucas is probably discredit that, that, that title in my case. Uh, but yeah. And like, I think I'm just bringing that up because uh, a lot of like my more fucked up horror shit is now focusing on the input, uh, the the output of like Star Wars bullshit. <laughs> Thank you, Aries. Honestly, me was right for doing that to me because uh, I got into their DM like screaming, crying about Toshino Mifune as uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, and like obviously after that, they like, they can do anything to me. I think I would deserve it. But like, yeah, that has happened, and now most of my horror shit is like on that end. And none of you guys are ever going to see it, except for you guys in meme server, because I've kind of shown you guys a little bit of it. Uh, but like, I do still do some horror stuff outside of that otherwise. Damn, I have a comic I also really want to finish. And I'm writing that thing in Vietnamese. And I think it's just mostly like, trying to keep up with 
the artistic, I guess, vision or whatever. Like the, the style I've kind of committed for it. And I, I try to follow through with that. And I feel like it will be a little bit taxing, but I want to do it. I want it to exist. Uh, I honestly can't even show you guys the sketch of that right now. It's still in here. Uh, but like... No, actually, I just think it, it's funny to show everyone, like, show show people my fucking s comic sketches because it's always fucking impossible every time. Where is that one? Here it is. Load. This is normal. This is fine. Yeah. You know what, actually, I feel like this one is more possible than the last. The last one was uh, the fucking uh, werewolf comic. Uh, a lot of word in this one. I feel like I should like trim down on it, maybe. Uh, yeah, that's, that's going on. That's what's going on right now. I need to finish sketching it. And then I need to finish uh, committing to uh, properly getting it out. <laughs> oh, thank you, Anis. You are very, very kind to me. I am simply scribbling. It's not exactly a horror thing. I don't know how people would see it. And I've realized a few times now actually like every once in a while i have to remember again that my level of what i would call horror apparently is not the same as like the main audience like not the, audience, the mainstream definition of what horror is god anyways pigment right Ah, fuck. God damn it. That, that slider is like way too sensitive. Honestly, I think the only thing I don't super like about like not being able to do long curves again uh, is like the, the level of fucking pistol pushing that I get to again to like make the uh the brushed uh weight uniform in a line again. Like I've kind of broken out of it a little bit more when I did stuff like traditionally for a while. It's just because they like, when you do stuff traditionally, you don't really have a choice. Just kind of had to commit. Ten. Good job for your brain to commit. I think you were saying something about like all of the like freaking ri ribbons and stuff like that in this design. Annie's like earlier on. Like, it's just really funny because like, I feel like that is a very staple like design choices for staple design choice for a lot of like wuxia stuff or like uh, semi-historical or period uh, East Asian Chinese uh, fucking costume design It makes it very funny because like, I think in my uh, experience of watching Wuxia and shit like that growing up, uh, yeah, that's honestly one of the reasons why I never could 
really get into that kind of stuff anymore nowadays. It's just because I got Ouija out as a kid. I grew up with that. I watched too much of it. <laughs> it was on every fucking channel. And like I was babysat by uh, my grandma who loved watching TV like that. So like I just... That's too much now. But that, yeah. It's just like... In, to my recollection, it's just... <laughs> it's also one thing I'm like... I feel, I feel a little bit bad about saying, but it's kind of true for me because that... All of those designs kind of look the same to me. <laughs> I think recently, it's, with like budget TV and stuff, it's gotten a little bit better actually. Where like, they uh, pay a little bit more attention to like silhouette. And uh, like hair sound stuff like that to make uh, the characters look distinct enough just by like a glance. But all oh, the shit I grew up with, I was like, I think I can only tell these people apart by their age. <laughs> I think it's just honestly maybe just because I was watching like fucking what's what's that in, in Chinese, English again? Fucking I don't but I don't got there remember but like. Yeah, I'm just I'm just cartoon person, and like every uh, old school period Chinese shows, like oh those guys have the same haircut and like they all wear like giant flowing robes with like fucking shit on the ribbons, and oh their swords are kind of shaped the same, only the hilt is different, and I'm fucking not being able to see any of it. Uh, I think the one series